there's a city like Rome that wasn't built in a day. This French city that we find in the northeast of the Hexagon has been enriched over time with influences and imprints left by countries with which it shares its borders, notably Germany. From the settling of farmers and ranchers between 2500 and 2100 before Christ to the Pompidou Mess, the first building in the new amphitheater district, the successive waves of history have structured the city of Mess. Celts, Romans, Franks, kingdoms and wars. Mess is the result of more than 5,000 years of history. Today we take you to discover this city with such a rich past. We begin by dropping our luggage in the heart of the city, in a building with secular walls, a legacy of the military past of the fortress of Metz that now houses a haven of peace dedicated to rest and relaxation, the four-star hotel La Citadelle. An establishment that offers every tourist at every moment of the day the opportunity to come inside, because even if they are not guests of the hotel, they can nevertheless enjoy a tasty meal, dishes served at the brasserie of chef Christophe Dufossé, a star chef that welcomes us in the evening in his gastronomy restaurant called Le Magasin au Vivre. Metz is a city where the living is easy, as we'll see with Cyril Korzek, the boss of Centrum, one of the most reputed estate agencies in the city, who will confirm that the city is seducing an increasing number of French and foreigners alike. a boon for hotel owners who now have a record occupancy rate. At the Citadelle, the 68 rooms and suites are regularly occupied. The cachet of the hotel counts for a lot. The Citadel is a beautiful building, listed as a monument that dates from 1559, 500 years, which sheltered during the two wars the Magasin au Vivre, so the living and soldiers, and we opened the establishment in 2004. First, with bedrooms. We have 68 rooms and two suites, all beautiful spaces, with a contemporary atmosphere in an old building. We contacted Batiment de France to make sure we respected the history. With the architect, we wanted to offer a contrast between the history and the contemporary. Use materials from Lorraine with Jaumont stone. Incorporate steel, stone and glass, because we wanted to bring a bit of transparency and work on different textures and materials. Wood is everywhere in the rooms and suites with a very contemporary look and an intimate atmosphere. No or little artificial light in the rooms, the daylight is allowed to flood the space. It has this cocoon feeling, since we believe that we're offering a space where people come to sleep, to rest, so we didn't want to have too much light, too much aggression. So it's a choice to be on this more intimate side. Steps away from the hotel, the arsenal, the Place de la République and the Esplanade, a magical place where one can relax, read a book or stroll with loved ones, with, as the backdrop, the wonderful Plan d'eau. Metz has a marina, awarded with the Pavillon Bleu Europe label since 2007, and a water zone located in the heart of the city. A stone's throw away from the city centre, they converge in a natural green setting perfectly integrated into the urban space, offering a pleasant environment to city dwellers who enjoy taking part in all kinds of sports or simply to relax. Mm -hmm. 
But when one goes to Metz, it's also to enjoy the architecture, the shopping streets, the gardens and monuments of the city that since January 2014 has been on the indicative list of the National Committee of French World Heritage Sites for a classification at UNESCO as Metz Royal and Imperial. It's impossible not to be speechless in front of the Saint-Étienne Cathedral and its Lantern of God that is the biggest stained glass window in Europe, with 6,500 square meters of glass. Its construction started in 1240 and took three centuries to complete. Labeled a city of art and history since 2011 and an active and sporty city since 2017, each year Metz attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists. Some come by train, wanting to discover the imperial district with their own eyes, in the center of which proudly stands the station that was elected the most beautiful train station in France 2017. The other must-see place, Place de la Comédie. Built from 1901 to 1904 in grey sandstone and in a neo-Roman style on the Jardin des Amours, at the end of the Place de la Comédie, the Temple Neuf contrasts in a picturesque way with the classical architecture of the Opera Theatre, built between 1738 and 1752. Now it's time to take our first gourmet stop. As promised, we head to the Brasserie de la Citadelle, a place that benefits from the aura of the four-star hotel, but especially from its chef, Christophe Dufossé. This space opened within the hotel in 2014. A restaurant that offers a menu combining simplicity, tradition and modernity. A real gourmet walk through the products of the market, worked with finesse according to the seasons. A bit further out, art fans probably won't be able to resist the idea to surf the cultural wave dreamt up by the roof of the Pompidou Mess Centre. Exhibitions, live spectacles, meetings and conferences, the sister institution to the Pompidou Centre of Paris is spread over 10,700 square meters, including 5,000 square meters dedicated to the presentation of works. Each year, more than 300,000 visitors walk through this exceptional building, a cultural centre whose architecture brings an original touch to the city, a city that already has a colourful touch with its many parks and gardens. Awarded three stars in the Green Michelin Guide, Metz has also been classified as a four-flower city since 1992. With 580 hectares of green space, about 14% of Metz's total surface area, and its 36 kilometers of promenades along its waterways, Metz offers a privileged environmental setting to its residents and guests. Don't miss a walk through the heart of the botanical garden, so dear to Messin, the people of Metz. The city of Metz bought the garden in 1866 from the Baron of SP. Today, the park is home of rare trees, some very old, more than 150 years old. Sophora japonica, cypress chauve, ginkgo biloba. It is open every day from 8 a.m. to sunset. But while the beautiful city of Metz has everything to attract tourists, know that it is also seducing an increasing number of families wanting to call the city home. Germans, Belgians, Luxembourgers are no longer hesitating to cross the border. Even a few Parisians are attempting the adventure. The capital is only one hour and 15 minutes away by TGV. 
Metz is very attractive. This year we've had almost 35% more transactions. We're in a tourist city that's very pretty and very interesting. We have the Imperial District, the Avenue Foch, which is really very beautiful, which was made by the Germans during the annexation. There's a real attraction to Metz. It's a surprise because we have many people from Paris or other large cities who come to Metz to work and often they're surprised by the city's beauty. It's often a city people fall in love with. And we can confirm that indeed it is very easy to fall in love with the city of Metz, especially given the very many luxury apartments and unique houses of character. Like here, with this house for sale, estimated at more than 2 million euros, or this apartment of more than 260 square meters, located on Avenue Foch, one of the main arteries of the city. Splendid by its location, to be on Avenue Foch is already an address. It's building in carved stone. We have an architecture that's ancient, but an ensemble that is pretty contemporary, with the whole living area on the bottom, accessibility to the terrace. And on the top, the bedrooms. So we have volume and we have character. Architecture of character that we can even distinguish at nightfall. During the evening, the squares are taken over. The terraces fill up, like here under the arcades of Place Saint-Louis. On the other hand, I'm not sure what you're thinking, but if you want to enjoy a good glass of wine, it should be done while tasting refined dishes. So let's head to the starred restaurant Le Magasin au Vivre. In the kitchen, chef Christophe Dufossé has been working behind his stoves for close to 15 years now. An explosion of flavors are guaranteed. It's my desire to have my clients discover a great cuisine, great products, while being in simplicity, with a mineral side today. With age, we chefs want to synthesize, purify the cuisine, to propose a wine menu with a choice of more than 700 references. So here, the goal is this cocooning feeling, to take care of our clients, to pamper them, and make sure they have as good a time as if they were in their own dining room. To offer space and intimacy to his clients, there are only a dozen tables for a total of 50 places scattered over the four corners of the restaurant. The décor is sober, without neglecting the details, a bit like the cuisine of Chef Dufossé, who shares with us his vision of gastronomy. I attach great importance to correct cooking with the association of tastes, contrasts, like a langoustine with a sorbet, the hot and cold, preparing dishes tomorrow with a pigeonot, with forgotten vegetables, so the earthy side, but we have the iodine side with an oyster. I also like this contrast. I don't like it to be too linear. The star is not the chef, the star is the product. So here, it's all about the product. It is by closing our eyes for a moment that we will fully enjoy all these flavors, before closing them for good in our suite. That's how we peacefully end this wonderful day spent on the banks of the Moselle.